who uses social media and, and I guess which social media channel are you using for your business right now? So it depends, right? Some of you are using LinkedIn, some of you are using Facebook and for your business, it varies. Even at HubSpot, in my old role, I used to work way more, I'm almost exclusively on LinkedIn. In my new role, because I have to connect with VC funds and venture capitalists, I actually spend a little bit of my time on Twitter because that's where they are. So depending on who you're selling to, going back to that buyer persona, it will define which is the network you need to be in. My wife has a family photography professional business and she spends all her time in Instagram because that's when her buyer persona is our moms. And so that's where moms spend their time when they're being moms in Instagram and in Pinterest. So those are the networks she uses. So it's very, very relative to who you're trying to sell to. Uh, it's, not, it's not like if you like or don't like that network, it's where can you connect with your buyer persona? And so before you start, figure out what are your goals? Is it awareness? Is it engaging? Is it generating leads? Is it generating sales? Right? Very different goals. And some networks are better for some other for some things. My wife is starting to do Pinterest for brand awareness, but she does Instagram for more of a I like that engaged stage type of interaction. So, and the next thing is learn what works at that network. What works at Facebook does not work at Twitter or LinkedIn. So which one, which formats, what type of content works best at the network that you decided to use? And if it's working, don't be shy. Add some ad dollars behind it. If you have content that is getting a, a good traction, it's a good, it's a good idea to just add a little bit more of add a little bit of dollars to expose that really engaging piece of content, expose it to more people. Now we're getting in that thin line between interrupting. So just be very careful with that. But it is okay. If, you, if you're noticing it's being valuable, people are actually reading it, they're replying to you, they're converting, and it's becoming a very valuable content for your buyer persona, and you can filter your audience enough when you add an ad, it's a very, very valuable strategy. So the next thing I want to cover is once you get people to your website, right? You did SEO, you did blogging, you did good on-page SEO, off-page SEO. You're bringing people with your blog. You're bringing people with your social media. Now they're on your website. Now what? Right? Now is the most important part, right? I remember speaking with marketing agencies. I used to work with marketing agencies a lot. And they would come, Jose, you can't believe it. We brought these customers web traffic from 1,000 to 10,000 a month. Like, great, it's a great job. So what, right? So what, are you generating more leads from it? Otherwise, it's just an ego statistic. If you're increasing your website traffic and you're not generating interactions with your buyer, then it's just an ego statistic. And you're great at, attracting people to your website, right? But at the end of the day, you want to generate an interaction. Some of you or many of you want to create a sale. So you need people to sell to. 